welcome in the PLC Smarty video. In this video we shortly show what is cyclic interrupt organization block. So you can edit here in the add new block in the program blocks. You click on it and here in the organization block you got the cyclic interrupt organization block. How you can see in the description a cyclic interrupt OB allow you to start programs at periodic intervals independently of cyclic program execution. <coughs> also you need to define the cyclic time how often you want to execute everything what is inside the cyclic interrupt organization block. So for example we insert here 1000 millisecond what is one second then we click on the OK <coughs> and to demonstrate if it's really only the execution of the code inside this cyclic interrupt organization block only every one second we create the some variable for example uh, interrupt of the data type integer on some marker address OK and we say we want to increase the value of this tag by 1 in every calling of this organization block. So for our example is every second we increase the interrupt variable by one. So, okay, now we download this code to the PLC. Okay. And now we see the increasing our variable to see if it's really only only one second, we use the trace function, we add a new trace, as tracing we use our, our tag which is interrupt. Here is okay, and we need on the samples from the cyclic interrupts, and okay, we need to record every one cycle of the cyclic interrupt. Okay, we save it, download the trace to the PLC. Now we start the recording. And here we can see how our interrupt variable increase by one every second. So this show us that the cyclic interrupt is executed only every second in every second interval. And normally you use the cyclic interrupt organization block for the PAD controller where you, where you want to call the PAD at regular intervals in your PLC software. So thank you for watching this video and goodbye.